Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Drew and this is Just a Guy Linux and this is day eight of our 60 videos and 60 days challenge. And today we are talking about Qtile. Now over the course of the last several days with the window managers that we've talked about, many of these have been in either text format, XML, um, and some in Bash. The, this is different in that Qtile is a window manager where your entire configuration is Python code. So no plain text, no Lua, real Python. You write your functions, you can import modules, use the full language. Your window manager becomes programmable. Now a quick note before we get too far down the rabbit hole. I'm using Qtile 0.31. Let's go over here. And you can see Qtile 0.31, which is part of the Debian stable uh, branch. Right now on um, Trixie, uh, it is installing, by using sudo apt install Qtile, you're going to get version 0.31. If you're on Forky, by the way, which is Debian testing right now, you are getting 0.34, which is the, uh, the newest version of Qtile. If you want to go and play with that, then you're you know welcome to it. I generally, like I said, have said many times, I like to stay on the stable branch for just about anything. So along with it being on the stable branch right now, 0.31 doesn't really offer the same Wayland support, even though I would argue that the Wayland support for 0.34 is not where it needs to be in order for us to even take a look at it. But, and as we are using just X11 for this project, and most of you may be using Qtile on X11 anyway, I don't see the need to actually go up uh, to this newer version. X, uh, sorry, uh, 0.31 is fine. Getting Qtile to run as it is on this particular test machine is simple. Much like the other window managers in this uh, challenge that we've talked about, i3, BS, PWM, and so on, uh, there is an installer, a setup at codeberg.org slash justaguylinux slash qtile hyphen setup. And if you run the installer, you're going to get everything that you're seeing right here. So like the other videos, let's look at the uh, core key bindings or our basic navigation. So I'm gonna go over to like a clean workspace. And if I use super enter, it's going to start off with WES term. And if I use super Q, it's going to close the application. So let's add it right back, go uh, super enter for WES term. And let's go figlet uh, A. Let's add a second one and call that figlet B and one more, oops, hit the wrong button. Uh, and now one more and say figlet C. Okay. And when you're looking at um, three windows here, uh, you, we are using the Monad tall layout. Now there are several ways to actually change the layout. You can just click on the icon up here and it changes it. This is the BSPC. Uh, this is column. This is max. Uh, this is floating. And then you've got zoomy. And this is kind of cool. So you can just kind of like hover over it <laughs> and it just kind of like zooms into place. And the other way would be to just like use the super up or super down arrow keys. Uh, you can also use super J super K and so on. Uh, let's actually, and we can also use super and then tab. And it also will give you a feedback. So I don't know if you saw that, it was pretty quick. Let's do it at real one. Again, it says layout BSPC. This is the columns, maximized, floating, zoomy, and uh, monad tall. Now there's one thing, if you do like the zoomy one, I would say, turn off uh, the um, follow mouse because it, you might want to just click on it. That's something that you could you can definitely like try. 
So simple changing focus, you can use super and then the directional arrow. You can say up and down and left and right and so on. Um, the um, super shift will allow you to move things from uh, the uh, stack to the, uh, you know, to the main section there. If you want to use super and then space bar, you're going to get Rofi. If you use super and um, let's just move over to B. If you use super shift space bar, it's going to take it out of the stack and make it float. And if you use it, it's going to put it back into the stack again. Or like super shift space bar rather will toggle um, to float and back into tile super shift space. So if you use super and then slash, it will give you the helper. And much like the other ones, if like if you look for Genie or something like that, it's gonna say, oh, you need mod E or GIMP and so on. So it gives you a fairly good um, indicator of what the key bind is. You can also, by the way, just go into uh, the config and give it, a, give it a, a look. Now there are some things that we should look at with, with regard to this uh, configuration file. Let's go back over to Workspace ONE because I did want to mention that there are uh, color schemes or themes uh, associated with this project. Uh, and with that, you have Groovebox and so on. This is the Git, GitHub Dark is the uh, default, is what you're currently looking at, okay? It's my favorite, that's why it's the default. Uh, but if you go over to the colors.py, you're gonna see, oh wow, there's Northern Everforest and so on. But <clears throat> what you would do is you would go to, where is it? Um, you would go to the colors right here. And then you would change this from GitHub Dark to a different one. So let's give it a shot. Let's say we want Everforest, okay? Let's copy that really quickly. And let's go over here and let's uh, copy that or just paste that rather and say save and now let's uh, restart Qtile. And now you can look and see, wow, yeah, it looks like a different, uh, it looks like a different bar for sure. Uh, and you can make changes if you want. So let's go ahead and just reset that and save it. And now let's restart and now it's back to uh, GitHub Dart. Now we do have scratch pads associated with this project as well. If I use super shift enter, um, it's going to have a ST terminal kind of pop down from the top. If I just say L, you know, and it gives me um, some type of feedback. And then when, if I say super shift enter again, it's going to toggle it off and um, I'm able to go back to the same session once again by just using super shift enter again. So if I use super Q, it's gonna close it and then the, the session ends. Also, you can set a layout per workspace, which I think is very good. Um, most of them are gonna be just in regular monad tall, but there's gonna be, ex be some exceptions. For example, I don't have OBS installed on this machine, but if I was to go uh, to workspace 10, especially when OBS is, um, is launched, uh, it, it will be in column in a column layout such that GIMP also, I, there's only thing that one thing that I'm going to have on Workspace 9 and, and that's GIMP and nothing else. So uh, it's in the max layout. So, but again, these are choices. Let's go back over to Workspace 1 because I did want to mention uh, that there is no need for either Polybar or Waybar or SL status because that's what I use for DWM. The Qtile polybar is built into the configuration. Some people will like that, some people won't. Um, if you're asking people that I know very well, then, then they're gonna go, Qtile is the best uh, bar, and that is bar none, haha. <laughs> and, and one of the reasons why is because you can do anything. You literally can do anything using, a, uh, using Python to, you know, to get it. Let's go back over to Workspace ONE because I did want to mention that there is no need for an external bar. So Polybar, Waybar, not needed. 
Um, SL status was what I used for DWM. Uh, and with this bar, Qtiles bar, it's built into the configuration. If you're asking uh, friends of mine, including Matt, he's gonna say Qtile has the best bar, period. And uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna disagree with them. I think because you have the functionality of Python, you can pretty much get anything accomplished that you want with this bar. So when you do go back and you look at the, the bar, you're gonna see, well, okay, well, I've got a spacer. I've got the layout icon, which is this here. You've got a separator. And then you have uh, the group box, which is gonna show you all your uh, workspaces. And you can make this really kind of configured the way you want to. Again, do you, do, do you want to is the question. Uh, you don't have to because it seems like there are a lot of people that use uh, Qtile and you can, you know, use some of their ideas for, uh, for the bar and, or you could just use this one and you're, you're good to go. Now let's go back and finish this up. Let's talk about why Qtile. Well, it's Python. And so it's not a custom uh, config language. You have the full language at your disposal. You can import modules, write functions, use loops. You can do whatever you want because it is a full programming language. Uh, you can use context-aware functions. Uh, the built-in status bar, I think that there's something to be said for that because Python widgets as objects, you don't need anything external. You can you use one. Some people will like the modular aspect of having polybar or something like that completely separate from the configuration. Others will say, you know what? Built in is the way to go. I, I don't, I'm kind of on the fence. I'm either way on this. It, it, both of them have their uh, pluses. Uh, when it comes to extending your window manager, having Python is a is definitely something that you want to consider. It is easier than writing C um, versus DWM, clearly. So again, uh, just to finish up, like I said before, you have version 0 0.31. It's not the latest, but if you want something that is stable, works really, really well, there's nothing wrong with version 0 0.31. If you want to use Wayland, Sway is available to you on Debian Stable. And, and tomorrow we are going to talk about Awesome WM, another extensible uh, window manager. So if you, uh, one of the things that was really, really challenging for me was doing this Awesome WM config because Lua is harder for me than Python. So until then, see ya.